imagine that you have a kid who you pay for good school for. He is, um, he, he just graduated from high school. He is fed. Mm. Um, he just applied for the best university that it's nearby. Mm. And he got into medical school or law school mm. or, or whatever. Mm. And he's coming to you and say, Dad, thanks for, for what you've done t for me until now. Mm. Uh, I, I'm going to be a runner. Mm. I'm not going to go to medical school. I'm not going to go to law school. <laughs> I'm going to go and, and, and run. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the bit of the Forrest Gump story. <laughs> it is, uh, um, uh, you, you need, so in certain countries, that, yes. that, that is accepted. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be a runner, but he's probably not going to make the same living at the moment as a medical doctor. Yes. But in some countries, and especially in Asia, I mm. believe it's not yet there. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and that we need one, two, three, I don't know, generation to mm. change. And, mm. and at which point the parents will say, well, if you really want to run, go and run. Mm. Mm. And, and we're not going to uh, end you dry out of the window or <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Um, uh, and and, and, and that, that, that works equally in the disabilities sports and, and in the able body sports because sports is a real law of number. Mm. Um, every, every, every sport where you can make a living in, mm. uh, which is probably not many, mm. um, you will only be making a living out of it if you are at the top of the pyramid. Yes. I believe I read somewhere that the first 50 or the first 100 tennis players can make a living out of tennis. At the 100 level is already like maybe a very normal living. Yeah. But, but, but make a living, I mean yeah. once you've paid your, your bills, you've mm. paid the plane, you pay the coach, you pay everything, something mm. like a salary stay, mm. it's 100. Mm. Once you compare to the number of people playing tennis, mm. it's an absolutely marginal fraction. Mm. So we are considering that, in statistics, we are considering that um, elite or high performance represent about 0.1% of the population. Mm. That's the, the, the kind of metrics that, that, that we have. Mm. Um, and, 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 and not all of them mm. could reach the point where they make a living out of it. Mm. Mm. Uh, and I believe it's becoming kind of harder. Yes, uh, yes you see a lot of sponsorship and things like this, but I mean, it's, it's probably becoming harder. Mm. Sponsorship is someone that gives you three t-shirts mm. to wear and doesn't mean that you, you can eat the t-shirt <laughs> exactly. at, uh, yeah. at the end of the month. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so you still have that, 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 that gap whereby, you know, if you're not a genius in another uh, um, yeah. Uh, in, in another field, in another yeah. trade, mm. you may still find a job and make a living out of it. Mm. So mm. I think people still have that that, that comparison in mind. Mm. That yeah, uh, take take for example running, mm. which we were discussing before, or cycling. Mm. Mm. Um, in cycling, you 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 make a decent amount of money once you integrate what we call a a GC team, a, a, a Grand Tour team. Um, there's 20 grand tour team in the world mm. um, with seven to ten riders so that's the kind of population mm. that make regular money out of riding a bike they're talking less than 200 people yeah 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 in the world in the world tiny number yeah so you you you, you start there at the age of 18 yeah and you tell yourself what is the the, the probability that I reach there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that 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 that's how it it, it, it is, um, and 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 para is not different than yes. than, than than this because yeah. again para is becoming highly uh, competitive. You mm -hmm. were talking about um, British cycling before. Mm -hmm. I mean, British cycling is run like a Formula One team. Yes. Yes, money from from, from the lotto, but but everybody ticked the box. And that's the other thing I was wondering about again as an outsider here. No, no. And I know there has been. I've watched some of those indoor cycling events. Some controversy again about the technology because it seemed, again, superficially at least, 
that some countries and some teams have got a big advantage if they have the money and the not just the money, the know-how. You mentioned Formula One as a good example. I believe that Formula One technology, although the teams may be, you know, maybe called Ferrari or Red Bull or so on, but I understand that 90% is a UK uh, technology that happens. It's re the research and development and so on is done for Formula One in the UK, even if the teams have got, you know, are called Mercedes or Ferrari. Um, and perhaps it's a little bit like that with the cycling that uh, you know, that they have a, a, a built-in advantage where technology plays a role, as I think it does in in those indoor, well, all cycling events. I guess there's an element of technology. Yes, but, again, uh, when you when, when you reach that very few numbers yes. of people that have uh, what, what what we call a high performance um, status, yes, um, which is when you. Again, in Asia, sometimes it's a little bit misleading. I, I remember hearing a conversation of kids in Singapore saying, uh, I play football in my junior college team and, 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 and they call it the high performance football team. Well, that, mm. that's not high performance, that junior football. <laughs> um, but the people that make a living and yeah. compare themselves to peers mm. in the best countries, mm. that's what the definition of high performance or elite yes. um, is. And um, at this level, everything matters. Mm. There's, a, there's a very, very good YouTube uh, uh, series on, on Team Sky, which uh -huh. was the baby of a guy called David Bracefort, mm -hmm. um, British guy who used mm -hmm. to be British cycling before. Yeah. Um, highly recommend to watch whatever the controversy yeah, uh, yeah. about this and that, which is always more easy to make controversy than do the job. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, that the team where, where Bradley Wiggins was in, yes. etc. There's a team that realized what no other team has realized. They've been world champion and won the Tour de France on the same year. Mm. Uh, yeah, you can't do that with a small budget. Because mm. at that level, mm. every fraction of what you can get, and I think the series name is the incremental inches or something like uh -huh. that. Mm -hmm. um, um, any fraction of second or any fraction of something you can get will make you realize that mm -hmm. or not. Mm -hmm. Then you obviously depend on whether you have the material, you have the riders. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the riders and you do that, yeah, it's like yeah. putting me in a Formula One one, even <laughs> if you give me the best story. You're not going to win. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not going to win. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, once you have the guy, mm -hmm. which is the privilege of a few, mm -hmm. yes, then it become like really Formula One. Mm -hmm. uh, because we, we deal with equipment. Yes. We deal with mechanic. Yes. We not engine, but with mechanics. Is that an issue for you when you're trying to pro you you you're working with a national team and you want to compete on an international level? Is technology is the is your is your is the accessibility of you know your 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 ability to access that the latest technology that your uh, athletes will be using? Is that a, is that an issue? There's two component uh, to to the answer. One is um, you ask yourself that question if, if, if you really know what you do you ask yourself your qu that question when you have the, the, um, the material mm. the athlete yeah. so for us it starts happening now mm. after 4-5 or five years of development we start becoming in saying well, we, we, we need that kind of bike mm which is still, I will say, in the accessible world. It becomes a dollar value. Mm. And the, 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 the Thai government has been quite supportive to that. Uh -huh. okay. So we've been able to say, look, this is a guy that now needs to change his bike, needs something which is more uh, performant mm -hmm. uh, in order to be uh, going up able to and, and able to compete and they've been pretty pretty supportive to that yeah then you have clearly technology that you can't access no it's not a question of dollars no like for example like uh, the German are using a, 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 a brand of track bikes mm -hmm. um, which to the best of my knowledge you can't buy 
Okay. Uh, um, you, you can't buy in the sense that the manufacturer is probably already very busy mm. producing for them. Mm. So when you go there, hands you in your pocket and saying, look, uh, why, why don't I buy a bike like this? Mm. Um, it, it's probably not going to happen. Mm. Then who can benefit of that bike? Yeah. Uh, a, a very few yeah. 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 So you, 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 is that impairing people of good performance? Mm. Yeah, when they're when, when they're fighting for the world title, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. But before that, I think we yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we we've got able to deal yeah, with it because yeah. it's a, it's on a day to day basis. It's about training rather than uh, yeah. performing you, and achieving or winning medals and so on. Yeah. Yes, like uh, an old friend of mine uh, who, who, who was one of my mentor used to say, uh, at the end on the story on the bike, you need to push on the pedals, <laughs> and, and he's right. Yeah. At the end on the bike, you you, you still yeah. need to push on the pedals. Yeah. What, what about because you'd spent how many years a lot of time in Singapore was yeah, it 10 seven, years seven, seven, seven? oh yeah, yeah. More, more than that in total is uh, like almost 15 years 15 years and now it's coming up to about five in Thailand yes 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 a little bit more than five so I mean one thing we met <coughs> so we met when we were both trying in my case with not a huge amount of success but trying to learn Thai <laughs> Um, in the same class together, although I did most of my classes online, found it more convenient, but sometimes we, we were sitting in the same classroom. Um, and that brings me to the obvious question, one difference, I guess, big difference between Thailand and Singapore, English is one of the, what is it, four official languages in mm. Singapore, whereas mm. English is not and probably never will be an official language in Thailand. Mm. So I guess, is that a big factor, a big issue for you coming, changing from that English speaking, also English speaking environment into a uh, Thai yeah. uh, language environment? Was that a probably that a big the most issue? challenging yeah. uh, issue? The, the, because communication and the team, a, a team is like a small corporate. Yes. Um, we, we live in Otasi, we are all together, uh, we are residing in the same place. Um, I have young development athletes, 17 years old, mm. the youngest. The oldest one will be in his very early 40s. Mm. Um, I work with another six, seven coaches um, uh, who, who are most of them former cyclists, former national cyclists, aged from 23 to, um, to 40 years old. Mm. Uh, uh, we have team mechanic. We have, uh, and we have team management. Um, so that, that is about 30 people. Yeah. 30 to 35 people, depending on the season mm. and depending on uh, how many athletes we have on the roster. So yeah. it, it's like a, what we call a small and medium sized enterprise. Yes. Because you have to deal with everything. From, yes. Oh, this one lost his girlfriend, mm. or another one is not feeling well, mm. or another one need to go back home because something happened, or, mm. or, or, or whatever. So you deal with, with, with everything like that on a, on a daily basis, and therefore communication is paramount to that. Yes. And therefore my attempt, um, like yourself, I wasn't really good at it, <laughs> uh, my attempt to try to speak um, Thai, which I have a very poor comment of, unfortunately, <laughs> was going into that direction. Yeah. Um, and um, that will probably remain uh, the biggest obstacle. The rest, um, yeah, a bicycle in Singapore, a bicycle in Germany, and a bicycle in Thailand is the same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, training programs, yes, yeah, we yeah. we bring in more modern ideas yes. uh, on on how to structure training and. But again, that that you know, if if you by nowadays you know, you Google uh, how to train in cycling, and you probably find you know uh, uh, hundreds different ways and and things like this. So the communication, the exchange, is is the biggest obstacle when mm -hmm. you can't speak the language. Yes. And I believe that languages are very strongly related to culture. Yes. Uh, and 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 therefore. You, 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 are, you are also not of the same culture mm. um, and sometimes you need to to decide on whether you need to merge in that culture mm. which is still something I I have 
difficulty to do sometimes, mm. or you need to keep respecting each other culture, but but, but be yourself. Mm. Mm. Um, that, 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 that is probably somewhere a compromise in there, like in everything. Yeah. Um, but that is probably the the most challenging mm. uh, uh, obstacle that I'm facing on a daily basis. Yes. Um, it can be when I when I ask something and 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 people will will do something else <laughs> not because they wanted to do bad but because they wanted to uh, they understood something yeah else. they misunderstood and they yeah. didn't want to upset me in asking yes. me to repeat a second so in time. practice you tend to use one or two people in particular maybe one or two in the team who are very good at English who can help to translate what yes, you're trying to say. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm lucky to have um, uh, some of my coaches have a better understanding of English than I have in Thai, yes. which is not very difficult, <laughs> but uh, uh, they do. Yeah. Um, technology helps us as well. Yes. Um, Siri, Google, uh, Translate, mm. uh, once you start using it regularly can mm. can be helpful as well yeah uh, um, and if it's really something important um, I always try to ask someone of my team management that is free in English yeah to, to, to chip in the discussion yeah and sometimes we do it online whereby we could do it in a room but mm. we do it online because the person is not here but it, it, it's better to have <coughs> someone that 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 we really can capture the concept in English and mm. and which is not my mother language by the way so of it's course, a yeah. kind of yeah. double translation yes, double for me. translation yes uh, and uh, at the same time uh, uh, give them really what what they need to understand in, in yes in English and I never travel I mean unless there's a problem I I, I never travel to important competition mm. without someone yeah. speaking fluently English on the team roster yes never Yes. Because that, that then become a problem. Yes. Because sometimes we have to change strategies, we have to yes. we have to sometimes communicate during the race. Yes. Yes. Um uh when when, when we, 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 we follow races um from the team car, we sometimes have to intervene during the race and, and, and that if if there's a, a compromise in the communication it, 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 it's bad. Yes. So so yeah, I will I will put everything else we we, 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 we can deal with in a very very similar way mm. that we will deal in any country or any of my colleagues are doing in other countries mm. the same i don't think that my my french colleague or my my british colleague or my german colleague are really dealing they deal with different system and organization but they're dealing in the same way with their team yes but that communication problem remains probably my biggest challenge with the staff but communication with the athletes as well yeah so we just um, we're just talking about the differences maybe if there are any significant differences between working here now it's almost five years in thailand and your what is it 10 years or so in singapore yeah uh you were saying language is the biggest single uh difference perhaps yeah or, or maybe communication in a in a broader yeah um aspects of it in, in in the sense that neither can i speak nor write um the 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 the, the, the language mm. so uh, uh that we probably on the top of my list because pretty much everything else yeah you 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 the way I was dealing with it when I was in Singapore, or the way I was dealing, I, I will be dealing with it if I was in Europe, will will be similar. Mm -hmm. um, you have structural aspects which are um, which are probably I won't say they they, they, they they are difficult. They are just different. They're different. Uh, yeah. The role of a national team. In, in the European context, mm. it's very different than the role of a national team in the Thai context. Okay, um, what what way? What way? Do in, you think? in in Europe, national teams will call you uh, three weeks before a major event. Uh -huh. um, the rest of the time, you're on your own. Uh -huh. Okay. You have your own coach. Mm -hmm. You stay in your own place. Mm -hmm. You stay with your own family or mm -hmm. environment mm -hmm. or the place where you come from, whatever you name it. Mm -hmm. um, you train by yourself. You have certain 
uh, performance indicator that are being tracked. Mm -hmm. And then someone will call you three weeks before a major game or a major competition and say, look, we have a week camp in Mallorca. Mm -hmm. You need to be in Mallorca tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, at nine o'clock. Then you have an evaluation during that week. And at the end of the week, someone will say, well, you're on the team or not. Uh, okay. Um, at which point the team dynamic click in mm -hmm. and you go to the competition and when the competition is over, you drive back home. Uh -huh. in, um, in this part of the world, mm -hmm. um, which is still in development for that perspective, yeah. um, you, you can't do that because no. if you leave a guy in somewhere in Thailand training by himself, uh -huh. the likeliness that he does it, para or not, mm is low because it will probably be absorbed by its own ecosystem. You okay. need to work for the family or you need uh -huh. to, to do something mm -hmm. else and, and, and therefore its level of... Uh -huh. uh, uh, its independence, level of, maybe. No? Correct. Yeah. Uh, its level of independence is not yet there. Yeah. So the way we've, we've challenged that is, is, is to be in quasi-permanent camp mm. where, where, where ah, I, okay. everything else okay. is, is, is there for you to train. Okay, that's an interesting thing. To, so and, you've, and you've, 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 you've uh, so, yeah, uh, so you, in order to, yeah, in order to maybe um, screen, shield your athletes from this huge um, influence from the family and other yeah. factors, other distractions perhaps, yes. you've, you've created a sort of, like you say, a camp environment. Where they, um, yeah, they can be more focused on on what they're doing. I, I believe that some of my athletes who have been in the team from the beginning mm. have obviously seen me much more than any one of their family members. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's why I was I was saying before that it's a little bit like a big family in mm. there because yeah, you you can't avoid that in that mm. system in the yeah. sense that. I mean, we're still uh, in the people business, yeah. um, and, and therefore you need to deal with people ups and downs, yeah, yeah. Um, which, which probably in 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 the in the way Europeans or Americans are dealing with with mm. that mm. is fairly different because once you go back home mm. and you have done your performance, you're not really the immediate concern of the national coach. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's probably moving on to something else yeah. for a while until, yeah, the next uh, uh, flag in the calendar come and say, well, you need yeah. to call the guys yeah. and yeah. And, and and again, they, 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 there's pro and cons. Yeah, it's, but it means that your job and your influence is that much bigger, perhaps here than it is. Yeah, it is in other in other it countries is because sometimes yeah. I, I I am I am the coach. Yeah. I am. I won't say the friend because I don't like to associate that to yeah, coaching, but yeah. I, I, I am the shoulder there yeah, yeah, for some yeah. of them. I'm a little bit the dad. So maybe it's yeah, in in a general sense, and that would apply to other Asian countries too, perhaps. It's a more fulfilling, more um, varied it, it, it uh, type of uh, role here than it, it would be in Europe. For it example. is a much broader one. Like, yeah. give you an example, we we encourage our athletes to go to school and to go to university. Yeah. Uh, if there's a problem with the uni, mm. um, either my team manager or, or myself mm. need to go to the uni and, mm. and, and, and listen to the story and say, yeah. um, you know, well, um, uh, this, this semester the, 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 the grade should be a little bit better mm. and, and, and this and that. And then, you know, you need to mitigate the story and say, mm. you know, compared to another student, that guy has, has gone to race a hundred days overseas at the same time he's doing it. So yeah, this is something you, 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 you won't probably have to do yeah. if, if you were doing the same job in, in Switzerland where, you know, someone else will, I mean, someone else will will kind of be mm. responsible for the, as mm. the, 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 the aspects than, than, mm. than you are. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it's a big, it's a bigger uh, uh, scope mm. um, in, in, into the job. Yeah. Uh, and that is partially driven by, by culture because one, yeah. one of the reasons why we, we set that up this way is because like you say very clearly before, we, 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 we want to ring fence them from, yeah. from, from other type of 
of potential temptations yes. that yeah. that may arise from you know work or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yes, it, it is it, it is a, a, a difference, mm -hmm. and that difference is partially the, the maturity of the market and is partially uh, uh, cultural. Yeah. Um, and and it gives everyone in the team in the staff team. Um, a bigger scope of responsibility yeah, yeah. Um, toward the, the, the athletes that you have in other teams. Yeah. What about that's the whole work thing? What about the the the, the question of of living or life in Thailand, unrelated directly to your to your um, sports work? I mean, the, I guess it's, a, it's very different living here than living in Singapore. Yes. It? Singapore is a modern urban environment where at some point, especially now, I mean, mm. 15 years ago, 20 years ago, it was still different, but now it is not different than being into one of the age, other major Asian city. Mm. It's a little bit probably like living in Bangkok mm. without the traffic. I mean, traffic is also <laughs> quite bad sometimes. <laughs> uh, or without the river. Uh. Uh, uh, or, or Hong Kong or and not very not that different that if you were in New York in Chicago in Los Angeles yeah, or yeah. in Paris so you have you have the pro and cons of being in, in, in a very big uh, uh, city it's 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 one of the highest density in the world yes. it's like yeah. um, uh, about six million people or more mm. um, li living in in, in, in in the island and, and you still have a lot of areas which are inhabited yes. so it means the concentration of people is very high here we wherever we have been we have been a little bit in the countryside yes so when we were in Supanburi it was the super countryside yes so um, I would say it was probably overall a little bit boring. <laughs> um, then we had the chance to move here into uh, near near Chiang Mai. We are in Merim, mm. um, which which obviously is is is, is better. Mm. Um, having said that, the past two years with the catch up competition relinquished from COVID. Yes, we've spent more time overseas than in Thailand. Really? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean. Uh, Last year we left Thailand um, on the 5th of April um, and because of the chains of events that we have, yeah. um, we came back a few days in and there mm. to finish our year on the 9th of November, uh, December in wow. Korat. Wow. So uh, I believe that we spend less than one and a half months in Thailand really? from the 5th of April. Where, where, where were you all those times? We've been, those because times. of the calendar, yeah. we've been to, um, to World Cups in Europe. Mm -hmm. um, our tradition when we go to Europe is to, to basically make it more easy logistically for the athletes. We stay in Europe mm. until the competition are finished. Mm. So we went to Italy, we went to um, um, to Belgium. Mm -hmm. um, after that, we came back here. We were um, uh, hosting a competition, but in Rayong. Mm -hmm. uh, so we were in Rayong for a while. When we came back from Rayong, we went to the, the third World Cup, which was in in, in, in the US. Mm -hmm. We came back from US just to basically Revised equipment, mm -hmm. and we head to uh, to to Glasgow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, for the for three weeks for the uh -huh. for the worlds. Um, when we came back from Glasgow, we head to China for the a a Asia Game. Wow. <laughs> then from China, we came back and we were hosting the the, the so-called World Sport Ability Games mm -hmm. um, in in Korat in Nakhon Ratchasima, mm -hmm. um, which finished on the 9th of December. And in between, we had a short trip to um, to Malaysia uh, because Malaysia was hosting the Continental Championship for track. Wow! So, so um, when you consider the logistic of going, coming back, racing, uh, when you're talking about the World Cup, it's a full week of racing. Yes. Um, you're going there two, three days before. You're coming back two, three days after. So you have a turnover of almost two weeks mm. um, for every of those competition. Glasgow was three weeks. Mm. Um, uh, Asia game was almost three weeks. Wow. Um, so we've been uh, in, in our camp mm. training. I mean, for, for that group of athletes mm. that, that were involved in those, um, those competition, 
um, we, we, we've been, uh, and, and it will be the same this year, we, we've been living in a suitcase um, and, and with our equipment box on the road pretty much for the entire wow. year. So you're hoping maybe this year will be a little bit quieter? <laughs> well, with Paris coming, it won't. Uh, okay. uh, and then, uh, I should not say that, but I mean, the, the, sometimes the federations, <laughs> the international federation is having bizarre uh, <laughs> kind of choices. Uh -huh. um, so our, our first World Cup uh -huh. will be, um, we're living in fact in two days, oh. uh, will be in Australia. Okay. Um, before our Continental Championship in Delhi, uh -huh. and the World Tracks this year is in Rio. Uh, <laughs> so, so you're uh, certainly seeing the world, if nothing else. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I mean, that, that, that year, which is the preparation year yeah. for Paris, that's a pretty crazy uh, yeah. uh, 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 places to go. But I mean, you know, again, we, 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 we're not choosing that. Um, so we, we, we have to, 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 I mean, some of our athletes need to be in some of those competitions anyway. Yeah. Um, and it's my job to be there as well. Yeah. Um, so I think we'll probably take a break after Paris. Yeah. Um, where it will be more um, more relaxed. <laughs> I think you need, I mean, that's. I would imagine that's important for athletes as well, that they have, I know they have to keep in shape and so on, but they have to have a time to relax as well. We, right? we, you, you're absolutely right. And, and, and this year it was very short. Mm. Um, they, they had one to two weeks um, right after the, the Nakon Rachasima games. Mm. Um, and that was it. And this is two weeks where we, we do not allow them to cycle. Ah, uh, okay. We, 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 we just like lock in the bikes, yeah. close the door, yeah. um, and tell them to do um, everything they, 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 they want, go back to see their families, mm. uh, go to see a movie, anything, yeah. but do not touch yeah. a bicycle yeah. 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 for yeah. the next two weeks. Yeah, yeah, to really uh, turn off. And we have to lock them yeah. down because yeah. I mean, sometimes <laughs> some of them will say, oh, after three days, you think <laughs> I can go for it? No, you can't. Uh, it, it's closed. Uh, we, we, we don't want to see uh, okay. anybody going in that room uh, uh, for okay. the next two weeks. So we yeah. had those two weeks. After that, we had to go back to work because of that early uh, World Cup this year. Um, so, so that that that's going to be um, uh, probably uh, the, the case until Paris. After that, we'll have a yeah. we'll have a quick break and recharge. So you busy busy time, and you're hoping maybe you were saying before about uh, getting permanent residency. That's uh, um, something you'd obviously like to have here in Thailand. Yeah, it it, it, it could be an option. Yes. Uh, 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 I, I don't have any uh, any plan yet mm. for. Um, uh, for, for after Paris, yes. Um, so we, we we will see. We normally function by cycles, yeah, like this. So we go from from one Olympic cycle uh, cycle to another one. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's because you know some athlete says, "Look, I, I'm done. I I can't do do uh, that level of training anymore." It can be an age reason. It can be injuries. It can mm. be a a lot of factors which are um, inciting in, in into the sport life. Yes. Injury being a, a big uh, thing, mm -hmm. uh, overuse or uh, any, any kind of, of injury can can become quickly detrimental to yes. to the athlete life. And then sometimes we have to to tell them, look, uh, I think it's enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For, yeah. For your own good and health, yeah. 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 you still have you know 40 years to go, yeah. 50 yeah. years to go. Yeah. So, you need to call it a quit now yes. um, before it's too late. Yeah. Um, so, 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 so that kind of discussion, we, we usually have them by cycles, mm. um, those kind of four year kind of cycles. So now we, 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 we are toward the end of a, a major cycle. Um, then we will see how we, we move on to the next one. Maybe, you know, get some of the young one up. Or mm. it, it, it really depends. Yeah. And that is usually a big discussion also with uh, with our sport authority to see, mm. um, you know, what what's what they see as the plan potentially for the sport because everything on that has to to work together. Yes, you you, you can't uh, uh, you can't work differently. I mm. mean, it's really everything has to click in from the top down to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. To to make it happen because otherwise, I mean, it's, it's you're you're struggling left, right, and center. 
but you're certainly a busy man, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, we've been, I mean, the, 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 the sort of like cancellation or replacement or shift yeah. uh, from the COVID period has almost doubled yeah. um, every year. Yeah. From, uh, and in fact, if you, if you recall uh, the, the Asia game, yeah. we're only shifted in 2022 to 2023 because mm. of the, the late COVID wave yes. in China. Yes. So it means that 2022, 23 were, were really years where everything that should have happened in Before. 2020 and 2021 yeah. Yeah. was shifted back yes. plus the normal program. Yes, yes. Um, so, um, so, so we had about half of the competition that are on the program every year yeah. and half of the competition which are uh, uh, some, some, some former COVID period competition that had to happen. And, 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 and finally happened. So yes, yes it, yeah. I mean, 2023 Catching was quite up. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, 2022 was, 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 was also uh, tough, but 2023 was probably the, the most I have ever done in, yeah. in, in, my, in my coaching life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a lot. It was really a lot. Yeah. It was a lot, and our discussion was a lot too. And yeah. I was just thinking to myself, Chris, that I think uh, and it's, it would be a pity to cut any of it or, or much of it uh, when we come to edit um, so I'm, I'm thinking we'll probably I'll probably split this into two you know yeah. which is which is great <laughs> because I think we've got enough interesting discussion material today to, to make two interesting episodes out of so I think that's what Thank we'll you. be that's doing in due course cool. in the next week or two when I get round to getting it all put together excellent so, um, but yeah, thank you, thank you very much indeed. It's My pleasure. It's great to have, see you again and to, for you to find time to do yes. this. Thank you so much. And for I really enjoyed it, very well. interesting. And I think our viewers will find it very interesting too. Thank you so much. Thank I you. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot, Chris. Okay. Nice seeing you again. Bye bye.